Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. Your God ordained spouse feels compelled to do this. Your God ordained spouse feels compelled to do this. And it is not a good sign. This word is coming to someone. Your, 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 your spouse, you are beginning to talk about marriage with your kingdom spouse you are beginning to talk about settling down you are beginning to you 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 want to get into a project you want a next level project you are talking about a next level project but it might be you settling down it might be about having a child it might be about starting up a business starting a company starting but there is something there is a project there is something you are working on that is supposed to depict a next level and your kingdom spouse, your God-given spouse, your God-ordained spouse feels compelled to do it. They feel compelled. They feel like they are compelled to do this thing. Not like they don't want to do it. It's just that they are under too much pressure. Doing it right now is putting them under so much pressure that they don't see the need. They don't see the utmost necessity to do it right now. They don't think it's necessary, and but you see the necessity, the necessity to do it. And you think if you can push or stretch yourself, you can accomplish that. But they feel like it's unnecessary pressure. So they really, they want to do that thing. They want to do it, but they don't want to do it right now. Because they feel like maybe there are financial constraints. Maybe they, they have so much in their hands right now. Maybe there are other responsibilities that they are supposed to handle. And because of that, they feel compelled to do it. They are not doing it willfully. They feel like they are just compelled to do it for your sake. And that is not a good sign because it is stress, it's stressing the relationship up. It's stressing the, your marriage. It's stressing your relationship. It's stressing you, even you up. And it's stressing them up as well. So God says, rather than force them and then strain your relationship, it's better to hold and let them have their way to do it. Let them have their way. Let the pressure calm down. And then they can pick it up as soon as they are, as they have every other thing figured out. As soon as they have everything under control, they can pick that up. God says there is no need. You are not competing with someone. There is no need putting yourself under that pressure and straining your relationship. I hope this world reaches you at the right time. God bless you. Shalom.